The waters of Akaroa on Banks Peninsula are home to the world's smallest and rarest marine dolphin, our very own Hector's dolphin. These tiny marine mammals can be easily distinguished from other dolphins with their characteristic rounded Mickey Mouse ear of a dorsal fin. Now unfortunately these wee dolphins get into trouble when we try to use the same bit of ocean. So let's find out how we can both share the water without getting in each other's way. The first thing is that they're only found in New Zealand and that they are part of a group of four species of dolphins that all have quite restricted ranges. They're all quite small, like a metre and a half is a big one, and they're all found very close to shore and all have the same sorts of conservation problems too. Fishing is the main one, so they get caught in gill nets in particular, but also in trawl nets. And that's taking clearly unsustainable numbers around New Zealand still. They only can breathe for about two minutes, so when they dive, they only dive for about two minutes. So if you can imagine they get caught in the net, they've only got two minutes to get them up before they, they die, they drown just like we would. People do come across dolphins when they're when they're out and about in their boats. What are some things they can do to make sure that the dolphins don't get hurt? The main thing is if you see dolphins drop down to below wake speed, so you then that way the dolphins can decide what they're going to do, and you're not chasing dolphins. Behave like the the professional the eco tourism boats do. They stop. The, if the dolphins want to come to the boats, the dolphins come to the boats and they'll sit there and they'll play around. Don't chase the dolphins, don't change speed, don't change direction frequently. And just, again, it's just enjoy the dolphins on their terms. If they want to come see you, they'll come and see you. Basically approach them politely, you know, like if you were going up to a person in another country and you did not speak their language, you wouldn't go right up to them and touch them and, you know, shout at them or, or do anything strange like that. You'd, you'd be, you know, quiet and polite with them. People got to be aware that there are actually regulations um, governing how they can behave around the dolphins. These little dolphins are extremely special to me. I used to work here with them in Akaroa, and they're only found here in Aotearoa. So we owe it to these guys to make sure they have a chance to survive in their home waters. 